Hi, my name is Graydon Blair from Utah Biodiesel Supply. It's February 2012 and it's time for another biodiesel update. If you've been driving past gas stations lately, you've seen how high diesel prices are climbing, which we think is a great opportunity for those of us making biodiesel to save a lot of coin. Right now, the national average for diesel fuel in the United States is running right about $3.96 a gallon and climbing daily. We drove past a gas station here locally in Syracuse, Utah, and within one day, we saw the price of gasoline jump 10 cents. Uh, diesel prices are, didn't jump near as quickly, but we're near as severe, but we're just seeing the prices soar. Alternatively, you can make biodiesel still for roughly about a dollar to a dollar twenty-five a gallon, depending on what you're getting your waste vegetable oil for and what your methanol costs are running. On the front of vegetable oil prices, waste vegetable oil is still a very hot commodity. It's still hotly traded in the market, and we've been watching those numbers fairly closely. As of Friday, we noticed that the price for waste vegetable oil is running right around 266 to 283 a gallon. Now this is the price that uh, oil render is going to be getting for the oil once they collect it, clean it up, and sell it. But that price also has built into it uh, some of the price that some of these restaurants, are, uh, some of the oil rendering companies are paying to restaurants. So if you're getting into oil collection just for the first time, be prepared for possibly having restaurants telling you that they may be pay getting paid for it. Uh, last year we heard of some restaurants in New York being paid as high as two dollars a gallon. Now, granted that was when the dollar per gallon tax credit was in place with biodiesel and so the oil was worth more. After the first of the year we saw the oil prices drop dramatically and now they're starting to come back up a little bit and we believe that's partly in, in part due to uh, diesel prices going up a little bit. Now one thing that does affect biodiesel, and we've talked about it in the past, is this thing called RINs, or Renewable Information Numbers. Basically, the federal government has an interest in the United States producing and using biodiesel. So they ask uh, petroleum companies, or rather demand petroleum companies, sell renewable fuels, biodiesel being one of these. Now, Petroleum companies can do one of two things to do this. They can either sell the biodiesel or they can purchase credits from manufacturing plants that make biodiesel toward biodiesel that's been made and that applies towards their mandate. Um, those credits can be bought and sold on the open market and right now we've been watching them uh, and they're averaging about $2.13 a gallon of biodiesel to $2.19 a gallon of biodiesel, which doesn't surprise us because if you look at the value of waste vegetable oil, 266 to 283, some of the price built into waste vegetable oil has those RINs built into it. So a plant making biodiesel can, before they sell the biodiesel, sell the credits for the biodiesel made for $2.13 to $2.19 a gallon. That's pretty good. Uh, biodiesel on average is running still commercially for about $4.26, $4.30 on the commercial market. Now it's got RINs built into it that they can back out of that, but that's, that's realistically what we're seeing it go for. So what's the outlook for biodiesel in 2012? We think it's going to take off. Last year, commercially, we made over uh, 813 million gallons of biodiesel commercially not including all the home brewers. That's just what the EPA tracked. So uh, we believe that this year, with the mandate being even higher, we'll see more commercial biodiesel being made, but we'll also see a lot more commercial uh, biodiesel being made on a homebrew scale to save money against those gas prices that are so terrible. So we expect biodiesel to take off. We've noticed it in our business. We've seen business take right back off and people getting interested in it again. And it's a wonderful time to get into it. If you're getting into biodiesel for the first time, stop by our website. It's utahbiodieselsupply.com or utahbio.com. We have tons of tutorials. We've got lots of information on how to get started. We've got how-to guides, starter kits, you name it. We've got everything you need to get started making this great, wonderful, renewable fuel. As far as new products going, we've launched a lot of them since the first of the year began. I want to show you some that we're really excited about. We really started to get into filters, and in particular, stainless steel filters. This one is a suction strainer that can be placed on the end of a pump, <clears throat> it can be put on the end of a pickup wand, or it can even be put down in a pickup tank for biodiesel. It has a pleated stainless steel screen and uh, perforated steel inside. It comes in various sizes. This is our smallest one at about 10 gallons a minute. This one's a bit bigger. This one can do up to about 50 gallons a minute, I believe, 10 or, or 50. Uh, and then we've got a big one. This one is specifically designed 
for sucking large amounts of oil. It actually has a shell that can go on here so you can suck right down to the bottom of the tank. And then we also have a really cool one that we're looking at prototyping as well. And this one has perforation holes on it. It might be difficult to see. It's not really stainless steel screen, but it's more perforated holes which make it ideal for a suction filter as well. And again, these can be connected right to the end of your suction ones. We also have stainless steel drum filters. Uh, we have stainless steel tote filters, and we still have all the other filters that we've been uh, offering for years and years. Uh, we also have some new labware. We've got a really cool burette. Uh, we have some new syringe packs and several other products that have come on the market too. We're also starting to spotlight more of our customers that have been making biodiesel for quite some time. If you look at the video, uh, latest video on our YouTube channel, previous to this one, you'll see one of those cool spotlights. For making biodiesel, if you're just getting started, be sure to visit our Getting Started Guide. If you want to see it up close in front, we've got a great DVD that you can take a look at as well that'll walk you through making biodiesel from scratch. Um, it's easy to make. There's a lot of people usually making it in your area. You just have to dig around. If you have problems, give us a call. That's what we're here for. Take a look at our website for tutorials. We think biodiesel, though, this year is going to take off in a big way. Maybe not as much as 2008, but still in a very, very big way. So if you haven't gotten started making biodiesel, now's a great time. For Utah Biodiesel Supply, my name is Graydon Blair, and this is our biodiesel update. If you get a chance, stop by the website. It's Utah Biodiesel Supply or utahbio.com. Thanks for watching.